Hello, and welcome to Great Fermentation's video on using a hydrometer. In this video, we will show you how to use a hydrometer. A hydrometer is a tool used to take sugar readings of your beer. You can take a reading before and after fermentation and use these numbers to figure out how much alcohol your beer has in it. Here is a list of equipment you will need to take a hydrometer reading. A hydrometer, a test jar, a thief to take a sample of your wort out of the carboy. If you are fermenting in a bucket, you could also use a sanitized cup or a small pitcher to take your sample. You may also use an auto siphon or a racking cane to siphon out a sample to be used to test. Some sanitizer. On brew day, I like to mix up a five gallon bucket of star sand. First, obtain a sample of your wort. The easiest way to do this is with the sanitized thief. Simply place the thief in your carboy or bucket and allow it to fill. While you could put your sanitized hydrometer directly into a fermentation bucket full of beer, it is not recommended because of contamination concerns. Put the sample in your sanitized test jar. If using a thief, you can empty it into the test jar by pressing the tip against the side of the jar. Note that you may have to take two samples with the thief to get enough liquid for a reading. Then place your hydrometer into the sample and give it a spin to knock air bubbles off the sides of the hydrometer. You can read the hydrometer at the liquid line on the specific gravity scale. The numbers on this scale are meant to be read with a 1.0 in front of the displayed number. However, if the temperature of the liquids is not at the calibration temperature, which is typically 60 degrees Fahrenheit, you will have to add or subtract gravity points to get an accurate reading. This chart will give you a place to start. In addition, there are a number of online calculators that correct gravity readings based on temperature. Also, Great Fermentation sells a thermo hydrometer, which has a thermometer that gives the number of gravity points to add or subtract to get an accurate reading. There you have it. Using your original gravity and final gravity readings, you will be able to determine how much alcohol your beer has in it, as well as know if your fermentation is going according to plan. We thank you for watching this video. Feel free to contact us with any questions or comments you may have. Take care, and may all your fermentations be great fermentations.